unraveling the mystery, drawn to it. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, drawn to it. Understanding such phrases is crucial for mastering the English language, and we're here to make it easy and enjoyable for you. Let's dive into the world of English expressions together. Drawn to it is a phrase that paints a vivid mental picture. It means to be attracted or pulled towards something, almost like a magnet. This attraction can be physical, emotional, or intellectual. Imagine a force that pulls you towards something that interests you, without any visible rope or chain. That's what being drawn to something feels like. This phrase is versatile and can be used in various contexts. Let's look at a few examples. 1. Personal interests and hobbies. I'm really drawn to painting. Here, it means having a strong interest or natural inclination towards painting. 2. People and relationships. She was immediately drawn to his sense of humor. This suggests an attraction to someone's personality or characteristics. 3. Ideas and concepts. He's drawn to the idea of traveling the world. This shows an attraction to a particular thought or concept. Understanding synonyms can help enrich your vocabulary. Some synonyms for drawn to include attracted to, fascinated by, interested in, captivated by. Each of these has a slightly different nuance, but they all circle around the idea of being attracted or pulled towards something. When using drawn to it, remember, it's often used for intangible attractions like ideas or feelings, not just physical objects. Don't confuse it with literal drawing. It's a metaphorical expression. Let's practice. Try to use drawn to it in a sentence. Think about what you are attracted to or interested in and frame a sentence. For example, as a kid, I was always drawn to stories about space adventures. And that's a wrap on drawn to it. We hope this video has been informative and has helped you understand and use this phrase confidently in your conversations. Stay curious, keep learning, and we'll see you in our next video. Happy learning.